control your emotions. Don't let emotion take over you. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in again for another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Sipping on that tea with your boy Jody. We got a good one today. And it's talking about emotions, controlling your emotions. Don't let, let your emotions take over you. Yo, before I get into the quote for today, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell that you get notifications every time I upload a video. So let's get into it right now. Never reply when you're angry. Never make a promise when you're happy. Never make a decision when you're sad. You already know the drill. Let's do it again for the people in the back. For the people in the back, never reply when you're angry. Never make a promise when you're happy. Never make a decision when you're sad. Never reply when you're angry. Never make a promise when you're happy. Never make a decision when you're sad. Do not let emotions take over you. Control that. You have things to control and that's one of those things you can control is controlling your emotions when you're dealing with people especially with your uh, significant other when you are mad when you're fighting when you have an argument with them make sure you're not replying in an angry way or it do not let it do not let emotion take over the text the conversation because at the end you're gonna you might regret it. You might regret saying things that you that you did not meant to say, but you only said it because you were you were in that rage, you were in that uh, you were in that mood where you were angry, you were sad that you did not mean it in the end. Or even when you're happy, you don't you don't mean it in a way. So you have to make sure you be you are careful on what you say and when you say it. There's times where you need to watch out what you say. There's times where it is, it is allowed for you to say those things. That the emotions does not take over when you're texting, when you're talking on the phone, or even talking to that person in person. Because there's repercussions out of it. There will be times where you say something and it will bite you. My, it, not, my, it, it might not bite you right away, but it will bite you in the end because the, people are going to use things against you. They might not use, the, use it against you right away, but it's going to be stuck in the back of their head. When they have the opportunity to shoot that to you, they're going to use that, and then you're going to feel dumb for saying that or, or show it to you. People save receipts. They say the receipts on on taxes, so you have to make sure you be careful on what you tax people because they could use that against you. You don't want that feeling of saying things that you don't mean to or that it's going to escalate even more in the end. A lot of people, when they text, when they post something on social media, they're using that for a reaction on that person. They're... They're subtweeting to, or they're posting something for a, a subtweet or sub post, whatever you want to call it. They want a reaction. And for you, if you see something like that, your emotions goes super high. It goes zero to 100 real quick to the point where you want to say something, oh, or then you post something because you trigger now. So now you want to post something or say something negative. But really, you should not do that. You should just. Stay calm, let it be. Just let the person, whoever the person is, let them do whatever they're doing and just move on. Just control your emotions. You might be the victim right now, but in the end, they're gonna flip it because a lot of people are like that. They, people are so messed up that they wanna play the victim when really they're not. They're, the people that post or tweet something negative towards their partner just to get a reaction, in the end, they they act like they're the victim. They, they act like they're the one got hurt when really they're not the one. So don't let that, don't let your emotions take over you. Control that. If you see something that you don't like, just let it go. Do not, do not respond to it. 
the more that you the more you don't respond to it the more they are triggered and they can keep on doing it more and more and you just have to like you know what maybe it's time for you to just lay low on social media turn it off cool down go take a drive go take a walk do something keep your mind occupied with people that really care about you don't let don't not let those those bad vibes don't let those bad people take over you so don't let that do not let that happen to you make sure that you know what you're doing and control your emotions even when you're happy you might say something right now you might tell the person oh i love you uh you you're my everything blah 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 but really you don't mean it because you might say that you might say that right now but then an hour later you don't you don't really mean it and then you can't take that back well, if you take those words back then you're just going to be you're just going to f yourself up because the person will be like wait you you told me that you love me now you don't so now you're going to look stupid for doing that so don't do not respond in a way where it's going to backfire you no matter if you're happy you're sad excited do not let emotions take over keep it keep it normal keep it how you always are keep it one emotions do not let do not let certain things trigger you in a certain way never make a decision when you're sad that's one of the emotions too is people make decisions just because they're sad they they go and try to break up or they want to start a fight they want to start arguments just because they just want to people are looking for arguments they want to start small battles with their partner with their friends just because they're feeling sad do not fall for that trap do not let those people who are sad in of their own life take over you if they're feeling sad do not let that control you if you're happy be happy don't let someone put you down just because they're down maybe you need to walk away from those type of people you have to make sure that you're only talking to those people who are always who are happy who are have that mindset of of pushing to be better themselves you don't need someone who's always angry who always want to start a fight who always want to start an argument who's always down you don't need those people in life you need people that even though they know that the world that the life they're living right now is tough they are still pushing they are still pushing to be better they're pushing to better themselves looking for jobs looking for a better job looking for a better raise looking for a be better health for themselves and for their family you don't need those people who don't do nothing but complain 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 oh i don't like this i don't like how this is going i don't like this person do not talk to them back off back away from those people walk towards the people who have a good mindset that will push you the way you want to push people push them into the right direction push them to the right path to know that hey we're in the same we're in the same path we're in the same goal mindset we know what we want in life we know what we need to do in life let's let's do this together let's build this dynasty let's build this foundation let's build this let's build something together do not build do not build a house do not build a building with people who always are negative who have the mindset of i we can't get this done we can't do this we don't have this we don't need this those are the people who are too lazy they are too sad they are too just you just don't want to mess with them you want to mess with people who have the good mindset so at the end of the day make sure you control your emotions control control it do not let anything take over you you have you have that to control there are certain things in life that we can't really control but that's 
one of the biggest thing that you can control is your emotions. Especially with your partner. If you're in a good relationship right now, do not mess it up by reacting in a way where it's going to backfire. You're going to regret it. You're going to end up losing that person because you do something wrong. You fell for that trap. If you, if you, even if you lose that partner, if you lost that friend, do not let it, do not make it happen to the point where you did something wrong. Do not fall that trap where your friend, your partner did something bad, but they want to blame on you. They want to twist it around and make you look the make you look the bad guy when really they're the one who was a bad guy to begin with. So do not let that happen. Do not fall for that trap. Do not let anything like that happen to you. If you see something like that happen to you, what you do is go walk away. Put your phone down. You know what? I need to cool down. I'll talk to you when you're cool, when you're calm, when you're ready to want to talk like a grown up. If not, then bye. I don't have the time for this. You don't need to play games. You don't need all that. You don't need all that nonsense. You are too old to be playing those games. We always have to make sure we are doing what we need to do to better ourselves. That is the model for what I speak of, for what I say in all my Thirsty Thursday videos. Is always make sure we find ways to better ourselves every single day. We need to be better than we was yesterday, the day before, last night, two weeks ago, one week ago, last month. We have to make sure that we are better now than we was. And we control. We are able to do that every single day is be better than we was the day before. To control your emotions, do not let emotions take over you. Take care of yourself and each other and my beautiful people. My beautiful people. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet from the first. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell. Make sure you hit the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you got any other videos that you want me to uh, or topics that you want me to talk about. Make sure you shoot that down right here in the comments. Hit me up in the DMs. All my social media is all on the bottom in the, the, the box below. So make sure you do that. Go and do that. Hit the bell to get your notifications every time I upload a new video. I see you guys on Saturday or on Monday. I see you guys on a Monday. So, my beautiful people. You're my beautiful people. You're my beautiful people. Have a nice day. Rope like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Number one chemistry. Remix. Can't touch me. Can't touch Rope us. like a butterfly, remix. Sting like a bee. Raw British chemistry. Don't remix. Me.